Pat it. This is the 400 pound mullet loaded with verbal bullets. Here today to point my mouth musket at everyone's least favorite daily activity. I'm of course talking about work. The word itself stems from the Latin trepoliere, which means to torture or to purposely inflict agony and suffering. This is a fact most huts of aliens were already all too acquainted with, because most folks would rather rip out and sell the fillings from their face rather than go back into the workplace. To most Americans, a job is a necessary evil, like taxes or a hangover, although I have never shared this belief. To old Hank, work simply ain't worth the grief, as I've seen those around me 9 to 5 their life away in search of that gold mine, but rarely do they even stumble across the shaft. It just seems daft to think that working harder equates to anything other than a harder existence. Hence why there are no six-figure ditch diggers, yet there are several who just read stock tickers. Men and women slave round the clock to keep shoes and socks on their kids' feet, but don't even get the chance to formally meet till they're nearly six feet deep. A job demands the lion's share of your time, sweat, patience, and sanity, and in return begrudgingly forks over crumpled clumps of cotton in a fashion that somehow makes all your earnings feel rotten and ill-gotten. The worst part about work is it has turned the human race into a disgrace because we are all on autopilot four out of every seven days, just waiting on the weekend for our lives to actually begin. Monday through Thursday is a slog, then we mind erase our work week with grog, Saturday is a fog, and finally Sunday is spent repenting and preparing for another monotonous shift at our shitty job. It is true without jobs we couldn't afford to buy essentials, like Big Mouth Billy Bass ball mounts, Flex Seal tape, and the countless milligrams of caffeine and nicotine it takes to get our meat wrapped skeletons awake enough to once again engage in this never-ending game of minimum wage charades. That's why old Hank has decided to never again degrade himself just for the sake of getting paid. Sure, it means a life of never getting laid and huff and raid lies ahead, but at least I won't be like the rest of you punch clock clods, slaving the days away like some modern day coup de quinte. Old Hank has entirely too much dignity for that kind of display.